Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the late afternoon. A uh, wonderful day we've had today despite the rain. It's been really, really warm and a fantastic day. So Proverbs chapter 3 and we're looking at um, verse 25. Do not be afraid of sudden fear nor of the onslaught of the wicked when it comes. So do not be afraid. And that sense of not being afraid is an interesting one because when fear comes pressing in on us in some way or another, the last thing we think about is not being afraid because fear has made us anxious. Fear has excited our hearts. Fear and adrenaline is rushing around our body. And to tell someone that's afraid to not be afraid is really difficult and yet Solomon here says do not be afraid and the word do not means don't do it now if we do do it then that tells us that we have not listened to the voice of Solomon if we don't do it it tells us that we have listened to the voice of Solomon now you might be thinking but how does anybody take hold of themselves in such a way that they can reverse that emotion called fear that's kick-started all of that adrenaline and experiences within themselves. How can anyone take hold of themselves like, and just say, don't do it? Well, Solomon says, you can. And in fact, Jesus says we can. That we are able to take charge of ourselves. We don't have to feel the way we feel. We can readdress it. Now, how do we do it is we need to understand who needs to be speaking and what we need to speak into. So the reason why your emotions are kicking in and your mind is racing around your head is because you've allowed whatever has come at you to kickstart this emotion and start to manipulate you. But what God wants us to do is to, when we realise what it is that's happening, we need to spiritually take charge from within ourselves, rise up, and tell our soul that that's not how we're going to behave. You can do it. You can take charge of your soul because God wants your spirit to be in control. That's why the Bible says, walk by the spirit and you will not satisfy the desires of the flesh. So Solomon says, do not be afraid when sudden fear comes your way or the onslaught of wicked when it comes. And there's no question that the onslaught of wicked comes it comes in all sorts of incredible ways but we can take charge of ourselves and we can do that by saying no and if you want the long-winded version of what i've just said then go and read romans chapter 7 and chapter 8 and the conflict of the two natures thank you for joining me be blessed and i'll see you tomorrow